48 hours or so. <laughs> I think for a lot of folks, it's going to be the first taste of winter this winter, as well as this year. There could be some measurable snow on the ground in parts of the triad by Friday. You know, out there today, we had a lot of sunshine, so it was nice to, to get out and enjoy that. Temperatures close to 50 degrees, not bad at all. Change on the way, though, with clouds that are going to be rolling in here. In fact, we've got the clouds in the forecast starting tomorrow. Precipitation, though, does not move in until tomorrow night, so we should be pretty dry during the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, you'll likely see those road crews out there working and making sure we are prepped and ready for any winter weather that may be moving into our area. Current temperature 36 degrees right now in Mount Airy. The winds are light and they will stay light through tonight and even through the day tomorrow. Our numbers are a little colder in places like Martinsville at 32, 30 in Galax. Right now we've got 35 in Lexington and 33 in Asheboro. Morning temperatures though going to be colder than we've seen this week. Mid 20s expected in the mountains and upper 20s are in the forecast for the foothills as well as the Piedmont Triad. That winter storm watch includes Guilford, Davidson counties, points north and west. So all of the foothill and mountain communities are in this winter storm watch. And a watch, of course, is put out 36 hours in advance to give us plenty of prep time. And it is for some accumulating winter weather. This time it looks like snow. I don't think we're having to deal with any sleet or any freezing rain, any ice. So that is a good scenario for us. It's also kind of a wet snow, so that may hinder uh, any accumulation on the roads where it is not quite heavy enough to pile up on the roads. So that could work in our favor, but we are still anticipating some slippery road conditions, and because the snow is going to be kind of heavy and wet, we could have some tree limbs knocked down, snapped some power outages. I do think the rain snow line is going to be somewhere right across central North Carolina. Right now I'm thinking close to I-85. It could move a little farther south south or a little farther to the north and west for that snow versus snow and rain kind of mixed in. It starts to move in tomorrow night and then we're looking for rain and snow in the forecast on Friday and then likely ending as some snow showers Friday night. We've got the cloud cover coming in right now. The moisture is on the way. Remember this is the storm we showed you a couple days ago that didn't have a drop of rain with it but it's picking up moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. Severe storms today in eastern Texas and by the time it gets in here the air will be marginally cold enough. Could be 33, 34 degrees for some snow with this. Our hour by hour forecast has us in the 40s tomorrow with lots of clouds. Again, tomorrow night this time we're pretty dry, but we're starting to see some of that moisture move in overnight tomorrow and into early Friday and some of it will fall in the form of snow. Our forecast for tomorrow has temperatures into the mid 40s by late afternoon in the Piedmont Triad, a light wind with increasing clouds. The clouds thicken as well in the foothills with a high of 45 tomorrow afternoon. Mountain forecast has temperatures that will be in the 30s tomorrow, also a dry forecast. Then we'll have that precipitation moving in and changing into some snow. And it looks like the western half of North Carolina is basically the area where we'll see some of that accumulating snow. It's possible by Friday night if it gets cold enough. Some of that snow spreads to Charlotte, Raleigh, places like that, and they may have some accumulation as well. We're anticipating that the snow amounts, which by the way we have low confidence in right now, they're going to all depend on just what is the temperature like during the day. Is that entire column of air below freezing in every neighborhood? I don't think that's going to happen. So the totals are going to vary locally, but I do anticipate that there will be an area of several inches of snow. Right now, I think the best case scenario for that would be the farther north and west you are. But this line could drift a little bit farther to the south. We'll be fine tuning this forecast map, of course, in the next 24 hours. The important Thing right now is for you to plan on some impacts on Friday and yes there might even be a little bit of snow for the kids to play in as we head into the weekend.